Hey, good morning, guys. So today we're gonna to do something really cool. We're gonna create a, a Kong plugin. A Kong is an API gateway, and what's an API gateway is is all the traffic for microservices gets uh, gets passed through that API gateway. Uh, so what we want to do is actually we want to write a get uh, a plugin that handle maybe authentication like basic auth and generate a JWAT token, and then we want that service to be able to kind of uh, verify the JWAT token as well. So uh, Kong is an API gateway that supports uh, plugin creation using like, it, it has its own plugins, but you can always create your own plugins and you can write it in Go, Python, or Lua, or Node.js. So you don't really have to learn Lua to create uh, Kong uh, plugins. So in this case, I'm I had the Kong uh, download. This is actually called a Docker file with a Docker container. I uh, you download the Kong latest, and then I'm gonna add Node. I'm gonna also install the JSON Web Token eight five one uh, in this image. So when it gets uh, when the package needs to run and it needs to create a JWAP token, it, it will actually pull it out. So this is a structure here. Uh, you got config, the keys, the plugins, and the Docker Compose, and the Docker. This is the Docker file that creates an image. Docker Compose is actually where I mount the config, the con gamble, and the plugins for for the for, for that plugin that we're gonna create. I'm gonna call it Clax. So I'm using a, a version of somebody wrote like a little simple plugin, but I actually modified it to do much but much more stuff. And what happened is uh, the Node.js server gets run part of the Kong image when Kong kicks off. And also the Kong and the Node.js server communicate using the, the file system socket. And here's how the plugin server kind of starts when the when the image starts and tells it what uh, plugins you need to listen to. And here's the port that we're gonna listen to as well. The plugin is very simple. Let me go through the plugin real quick. Uh, what happened is when when Kong kind of uh, part of the Kong framework, um, you you create a class and you register that class in module exports. And here you register kind of what kind of parameters you're gonna get from your Docker Compose. So that in this case I have a JWA expiration. The JWA expiration is actually um, Define part of the config. So when the image, when the when the Kong starts, all these config parameters here for the plugin will get passed through to the plugin code here, Clax.js. So in this case, I'm gonna call the config and get passed to the class constructor. And also in the class constructor, I'm just kind of creating the private and public key. So the private and public key are gonna be used to sign and verify the the, the, the JWAP token. And also the config file uh, would be used to have our uh, parameters in this class. So let's go through that. So what happened is when we get a request, the access method is going to be called. We're going to get the authorization header. We're going to process the authorization header. And then we're going to also look for the cookie header. So if we have a JWAP token, we're going to pass it through the cookie header. And we're going to check, you know, if if it's a basic auth, then all these three variables will be created, will be updated, and we're basically gonna create a JWAT token using that information. And we're gonna tell Kong. So Kong is actually passing in in the access method. Kong is actually gonna call us in the access method, and the Kong is actually gonna be passing uh, the response uh, class uh, as part of it where we can actually gonna set the cookie to JWAT. And part of the cookie, you're gonna create a payload that you can put on part of your JWAT authentication. So the, the, the issuer is myself, HanyTech. The user is a subject, which is like admin in this case. And the HanyTech is audience. So you can kind of, this is just a very basic, you can kind of use a database and you kind of hash it and then determine if the hash is valid or not. You can do a much more complex example here. Uh, but this is just a simple uh, one person check. And once, if the cookie header is, so basically, initially, 
the first time you call in, you get a Shewa token. The next time you call in, you have your cookie header. Shewa token is part of your cookie header. And then basically you kind of verify that Shewa is valid. If the Shewa is valid, you just put the same set cookie again. But if it's invalid, you do a redirect to google.com. And let's just go ahead and start here. So here's, I already have it running. Uh, we're going to get here. Here you go. I got a JWAT token. So I'm passing the 64 uh, encoding for the authorization here. I'm getting a JWAT token. And I have a previous JWAT token here. And it got verified and it, it sent me another set cookie. So if the JWAT token is verified, so it determines true or false. If it's true, it's verified. I set the set cookie again. If it's incorrect, I'm going to get a redirect to google.com. So I'm just going to race a little bit here. Got redirected here. Okay, so I got redirected. And I'm not sure. But anyway, it, it got redirected to this location here. So I got redirected, and and this is how it actually kind of works. Uh, it's just a simple example here of how you can actually leverage um, Node.js uh, in Kong and create your own plugin without actually have to learn Lua. And uh, this is how much this is how much I I got here so far. Um, I did work with Kong before, and I'm just just an example to keep up with it. Thanks. Please subscribe.